Oh, hi, Phoenix. Moon Doggy. What can I... Moon Doggy? What does your hoodie say? Beta Wolf? Did you change your mind? Are you going to be the beta for the pack? Oh, dude, I was freaking out about what to do, and I tried to get Phoenix to help me think of a way to say no. And instead of that, well, they convinced me I should do it. Oh, and then they gave me this really cool hoodie. Dude, you have got to see what's on the back. The original subwoofer. <laughs> I like it. Are you sure this is what you want? Oh, yeah. Oh, Phoenix helped me look at stuff from a different angle. Well, they made me feel like well, I could make it work. Well, whatever you did, Phoenix, don't stop. Nothing I said seemed to have any effect. Well, it seems like you've got an open line into his mind, or his heart, or something. Well, whatever it is, I'm grateful to you. Thanks. I imagine Christian will be a bit relieved too. Bro, why didn't you tell me Christian wanted to leave to start his own pack? Because I didn't want you to think I was coming to you by default and that you weren't my first choice. You are. You're the only one I asked. I think you're perfect for the job, and I told Christian as much. He agreed with me, and that's when he told me he wanted to go start his own pack. Moondoggy, the only person who didn't think you were perfect for this job was you. I'm just glad Phoenix found a way to help you see it. So, are you ready to be my second? Well, actually, Jeremy, I think I prefer the title of First Officer or, or maybe Executive Officer. Uh, Moondoggy, we aren't in the service. Well, this is just our wolf pack. Well, I know, bro, but well, second just sounds, I don't know, lower down the order than First Officer. Why don't I call you my beta wolf so it matches your new hoodie and avoids any confusion? <laughs> what do you think, Phoenix? You like beta wolf too? Oh, okay, oh, I'll go with beta wolf. What do I call you, Jeremy? Just call me Jeremy, Moondoggy. Like always. Okay, dude. Well, Jeremy, it is. You know, you could probably just call me Moon Doggy and keep it simple. All right, then. Moon Doggy, it is. I'm so glad we got that sorted. Well, so, Mr. Jeremy, what's my first assignment, dude? I know, Channing. Pick my battles. I want to get the pack working on the pub so they feel vested in it. Can you act as foreman and manage the renovations so I can focus on getting the business side moving? Manage the renovations? Oh, aye, aye, Captain. I mean, Jeremy. Good. Well, if you need anything, I'll be there too, but I know you can handle this. Oh, no worries, bro. I'll have that place ship shape in no time. I know you will, Moondoggy. That's why I wanted you for the job. Thanks for taking it on. We can tell the pack in the morning. It's been a long day. I'm exhausted. This pack leader stuff is a lot of work. Oh, I almost forgot. I thought of a name for the pub. What do you think of the Wolf's Den? 
I mean, it's kind of an inside joke, but I like the way it sounds. You like it, Channing? Oh, fantastic. Phoenix? Moondoggy? Oh, I think it's awesome, dude. You like it too, Phoenix? Brilliant. Well, I guess that's settled. Well, now we only have about a million other things to do and we'll be up and running. Oh, never fear, dude. Moondoggy is here. Like I said, Phoenix, whatever you're doing for him, don't stop. Oh, later, you two. Oh, Phoenix owes me a rematch at Scrabble. They won last time by eight points when they put Xenia on a double word score. Oh, I protested, but oh, they showed it to me in the Scrabble dictionary. What's wrong with the word Xenia? It's a kind of plant. Oh, I knew that, uh, but I thought it started with an X. Oh, well, I'll live and learn. I take back everything I said before. I think Phoenix is exactly what he needs. And you, my sexy field specialist, are exactly what I need. You have a surprise? For me? What is it, love? All right, I'll wait here. Yes, love, my eyes are closed. I can't see anything, I swear. Can I open my eyes now? I'm not peeking. Now? All right. It's a hoodie. And my favourite colour, too. It says... Leader of the pack. Oh, that's brilliant. I love it. Try it on. Of course. It's so soft. It's fantastic. How do I look? Do you like it on me? I want to see. I'm going to go find a mirror. Oh, that's champion, that is. Oh, thank you, love. Oh, yes, love. It's wonderful. Well, it looks like I have to stay with the pack now. <laughs> no, love. I'm just teasing. I think we really can make a go of this whole thing. Well, now that the pub is coming together and Moondoggy is signed on, I think we have a real chance to make this work. Oh, I'm sure there's going to be bumps on the way. Well, there always is. But I'm feeling a whole lot more confident than I was a couple of weeks ago. Mostly because you're helping me. I know I couldn't do this without you. Don't say that, love. You didn't get me in a mess. You've changed my life for the better. I needed something to give my life purpose. A reason to get up in the morning. I sure didn't have that before. Not before I met you. Well, no, our, our first meeting didn't go very well, but we turned that around. Oh, I certainly don't have any regrets about us coming together. Well, I will admit, dealing with the Fae wasn't exactly a holiday. 
but it worked out for the best in the end. We rescued the pack, and they kicked Fredo to the curb. Well, if we hadn't gotten the pack out of there, Moondoggy would have never met Phoenix, and they seem to have hit it off brilliantly. Look how many people have benefited from what we've done so far, and we're just getting started. Wait till we have the pub up and running and the pack settled. I think the future looks good. Who could that be at this hour? I wonder if Moondoggy or Phoenix forgot something. Stella, what are you doing here? I've left Fredo, and I don't have anywhere else to go.